Every living thing is defined by its DNA code. The DNA is a long string consisting of four different molecules called A, T, C, and G found in all living cells. So it is, in essence, a digital barcode that defines us as humans, just as it defines every other life form on this planet. Only the variety of combinations of these four elements makes us differ from one another. The Human Genome Project was started in 1990 as the largest technological enterprise ever, with a budget far outstripping that of the race to the moon and involving hundreds of laboratories around the world, all with one main goal. Fundamentally, it was about determining the complete sequence of the human genome, the three billion letters that make up our genetic blueprint. And we know we have the code before us, and it's truly remarkable. It is a digital code, and buried within that code is information about what are all the genes necessary for making a human brain, and all the genes necessary uh, for making a human liver, or the heart, or, or any part of the human body. And uh, now the fun stuff begins because we get to start to crack that code having the order of the letters in front of us. But fundamentally, it is very much a digital code. A single species is defined by the isolation of our genetics, reproductive isolation. But when you begin to take genes from different species to mix together all of the genetics that is available among all animals, and also to design new alterations to the genetics, well, reproductive isolation really doesn't have much meaning anymore. And so you can imagine all sorts of forms and that will evolve in the future. In the future, we will be able to sculpt our bodies like living sculpture. Our bodies could be beautiful electronic designs that shimmer prismatically in the light, in the morning light. It could change forms. It could become a piece of marble on one hand and then totally mutate into some fluid type of luminescent snake-like quality. After all, the body is an extension of fashion. You can rearrange the human body and try to make humans fly even though humans are very heavy. And some mammals fly like bats fly, but they're much lighter. But it's an intriguing question because it brings up the issue of not just trying to take an injured human and returning them to normal, but taking a human and making them superhuman, making them go beyond. Our future is not to try and hold back genetic engineering, but to try and use it in a way that best serves us. If we can, if our children can be more intelligent and healthier and live longer lives through altering our genetics, why would we not want to do it? I mean, imagine if other children could live for two centuries and if you could only live for 80 years because your parents believed that it was improper to tamper with human genetics. You would not be pleased with that decision. The same thing if your IQ were a normal IQ and all of your classmates were much, much brighter because there had been sort of some biological or genetic manipulation that was possible. You'd feel very angry about this. The base is underneath Archuleta Mesa. Uh, supposedly it consists of seven levels, each level increasing in security as you go lower and lower. Uh, the information that was provided to us by Thomas Costello gave us very complex floor plans that had been drawn out. Here we're looking at uh, the first level of Dulce. The central hub here is security, which extends all the way down. It's the hub of these concentric green circles. Each area is connected by corridors and passageways. Level two, they strip you down and take all your personal clothing, they weigh your body, they take biometric scans of you and everything. And so in case you're trying to smuggle something out, they know exactly what you ate, they know exactly how much you should weigh, they know if you have something in your stomach. They're really taking it to extremes. Well, you would have to with something like this. 
they're frightened that they, it would be discovered that humans were being experimented on for genetic research. For level three, um, we have the computer bank area. This is where they contain all command, control, communications, and intelligence. Level three doesn't sound very dark. When does it all start? Well, it starts getting more interesting at level four. Here's where they get some of the more exotic research. They've studied the human aura, all aspects of telepathy, hypnosis, dreams. Guys, wait, hang on a second. Wait, are you talking about extraterrestrial visitors that are working with our government? Both. They call level six Nightmare Hall. This is where all the genetic experimentation is occurring, where they fuse animals and humans together. John Lear showed me his drawings of the Costello photographs in which there were body parts in that of morphed human beings in cages. Absolutely. Well, you know, that's even real, though. I mean, that's yeah, what I saw like a... the pictures, Pat, with my own Pat, eyes. Every... 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 Sketch. Everybody, Sketch. everybody saw, about two or three years ago, a mouse with a human ear growing out of its back. Do you remember seeing that? I saw that. Remember, the military-industrial corporate complex is actually about 30 to 40 years ahead of us. So that means that at the time when these came out, chances are they were successfully fusing humans and other animals together as a precursor to what we're seeing now. The human test subjects are housed in level five, they're taken in, the experiments are done in level six, then they're transported to level seven. This is the horrific area. Guards, like Thomas said, that they had the cages. They were told not to talk to anybody. These were half men, half other animals. Who's doing these experiments? Reptilian humanoid beings, the small greys. You're saying there are terrestrial reptilians down there, and there are grey aliens down there, and there are humans who are willingly helping to perform experiments on other humans down there. Why are you that, so is, that is a nightmare. Why are you so shocked at humans performing other experiments on humans? I'm trying to separate fantasy from, from reality here. We're on our way for a meeting with Gabe Valdez, a retired New Mexico State Police officer. Gabe investigated cattle mutilations 20 years ago, in which cattle, seemingly healthy, are killed, and then the soft tissue is excised from their bodies. We hope he'll share whatever he learned with us. In my profession, you have to focus on uh, physical evidence. And the physical evidence that we found it doesn't come from outer space. Can you tell us what you found? Gas masks, monitoring instruments, radar shaft, and helicopter activity. What I found out, they were coming and marching the cattle ahead of time, and then later on they hit them with a tranquilizer, and then they take uh, the lymph nodes out of it. The lymph nodes were consistent from each mutilation each case. Then they would take more stuff out to kind of confuse people. Now what about this argument that it's just coyotes or ants or some wild animal that's killing the cattle. Coyotes don't wear gas masks. They're doing testing on cattle and it, it's, it's very apparent because he's found evidence. He has tangible things such as a gas mask, glow sticks, some sort of devices. It points to humans, not aliens. Were your people able to ever figure out what this research is about? We suspect that it's, it's not disclosable. It's not the extraterrestrials, Gabe said. It's us. But who? The government? The military? Some unknown shadow government organization? Gabe wouldn't tell us. Who would be keeping this a secret? Well, because of the consequences. Gabe said the consequences would be too dangerous. We're taking pictures of a lot of helicopter activity in the area. Is it just taken 10 days ago. I think that if there was some kind of secretive organization operating here, they wouldn't have a, a huge uh, uh, emblem or logo on the side of their helicopter. The aliens are so advanced in technology, why do they leave all these physical evidence behind?